brother. That's so crazy. Yeah. Okay. Cheers for inviting us in. Was it just me? Or did you recognise me on the doorstep? My mum showed me a picture of my dad and you look just like him. What was that? It was my tag. Look, I, I never made the best decisions in my past, but I, I promise I'll try to sort them. Look, I'm, I'm sorry for just coming here like this. I suppose it's been easier just to turn up. What do you mean it's been easier? Well, Dad, uh, sorry, Ray Senior. We have three other half-siblings. What? All from different women? But when he died, he, he just sort of came out. That like my mum knew and well, she told me everything. And have you met all the other children? Look, uh, Adam. He lives in East London. And he runs a string of boxing gyms. And then there's Joe. I haven't met him yet, but I heard he lives in Australia. And then there is Summer, our older sister. Look, I phoned her, but about at the end of the phone call, she said, you know, she wasn't really interested in meeting any of us, so. That's a shame. Yeah. But I guess we don't know what she's been through. And what does she do? You know what, I never found out. And, and what do you do? You've got a job, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've uh, got my own business. I mentor kids, you know, taking them off the street and stuff. You know, like partner with local businesses and brands. That's amazing. Cheers. You got kids. Oh, I always wanted to be an uncle. Yeah, they're great. My husband is actually training one in gymnastics and the other one in boxing. <laughs> it's written in the stars. <laughs> Was it hard growing up not knowing our dad? I didn't know him. Yeah, him and mum raised me. So I guess he just chose the setup he wanted most, eh? Don't be silly. But regardless, though, it would have been nice to have a sister. Listen, I don't know the man you knew, but I haven't heard a single nice thing about him. I've always wanted a big family, but he is just such a big elephant in the room. I guess that's one of the reasons someone opted out. What do you mean? My mum met him on a night out with a friend. And after meeting him, the only thing she remembers is waking up in a hotel room, half naked with him gone. So, what? You said you raped her? She only knows they had sex because he texted her thanking her for a good time. So, you tell me whether he did or he didn't. Right. Well then, what did he have to say about all this? He wasn't there.
when she found out she was six months pregnant and he didn't want anything to do with it, anything to do with me. I don't know what to say. Come to peace with it. Found out the year before she died. I've got a good life. Great husband, wonderful kids. Good job. And I train, do yoga, and go on retreats. And... Are you ever going to call her? One sibling at a time, bro. I'm not excited about you. I'm not sure I'm ready for the Brady Bunch thing yet. I just feel so torn. But I've come and snap out of it, man. It's not your business to be taking on other people's stress. Life's hard enough as it is, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know if I can be around if she's just going to trash out her dad every time I see her. Hey, I'll take this before I go, innit? As you know, I didn't know Ray Senior. I realised I'd seen him once or twice as a kid. But as far as I knew, my dad was a guy called Stephen. It's when I met you, I realised he wasn't my dad. What, your mum told you your dad was Stephen? He stole my dad. And you stole my brother. You are still a good man with or without the relationships you have. Yeah? Yo, you good? Yeah. Yeah, bro, yeah. I gotta go, man. The missus is calling me. We'll talk soon, yeah? Thanks, bro. Oi. And well done for taking the trip. Thank you.